the Father has loved me, so have I loved you. Abide in my love. John 15, 9. From the works of John Bunyan. The love of Christ is exceedingly great, and its fullness beyond knowledge. It passes the knowledge of the wisest saint and the saints and angels in heaven. This is an eternal love. It is without beginning. The love of Christ was before the world, before we had being, for we were yet as yet created. Though we were uncreated, we had the love and affections of Jesus Christ. The fullness of his love is unknown to man. Who can tell how many heart-pleasing thoughts Christ had for us before the world began? Who can tell how much he delighted in us and his affection before we had our being? In general, we may conclude it was a great love. There seems to be a parallel between the Father's delight in the Son and the Son's delight in us. Yea, Christ confirms it. This love before the world began goes forward to an endless forever. The visions we shall have in, this, in heaven of this love will far transcend our utmost knowledge here, even as far as the light of the sun at noon goes beyond the light of a blinking candle at midnight. We shall enjoy immediately and enjoy him with all perfection of knowledge, as far as it is possible for a creature that is brought up to the utmost height that his created substance is capable of. But for all this perfection of understanding, we will come short of knowing the utmost of his love. All the enjoyments we will know of his love will be for all of eternity, and this shall be our happiness. There will never be an end to our blessedness. Christ's love is infinite. This, if I may say so, will keep us employed even in heaven. It is not a burdensome employment, but a dutiful, delightful, and profitable one. All things that were once burdensome in suffering and service shall be done away with, and that which is delightful and pleasurable shall remain.